Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to animate a spider, an eight-legged creature, right? I have animated hundreds of walk cycles in my life. And when I started out, I was searching for walk cycles on spiders and and dogs and, and anything, and I couldn't find anything. And I'm, there's still no good uh, animation tutorial on YouTube on how to make a walk cycle for a spider, for example. I, I just can't find it. And, and, and those that are out there, it's, it's not really, you know, production ready quality, right? So that is what I'm going to show you today. I will show you some tips and tricks and the technique I use to create walk cycles on any creature. It doesn't matter if it has two legs or eight legs. The technique is the same. It's easy and it's simple and it's by far the fastest way to create good looking walk cycles. All right, so I hope you're ready for this. So sit back, grab a cup of coffee and some popcorn and let's begin. All right, let's get into this. So first I need to tell you that uh, I don't have a professional sound setup here, right? My microphone will pick up a lot of sound from the keyboard and from the mouse and from <laughs> everywhere else, right? I don't have a hanging microphone. I don't have a, a sound suppressing materials on the walls. I don't have a gaming chair and I don't have all that, uh, but I will do my best to keep all those extra noises to a minimum. I will do this animation in Blender because I'm getting into Blender myself, so there's a ton of stuff I don't know about Blender and, and I might be stumbling around with some things uh, while making this animation because you know I'm still getting into it myself. But the technique is the same no matter which program you use, right? It's the only question is where is the shortcut keys and, and what is the kind of the workflow in the program. But the way the animation is being created is the same for all programs. So um, because I do this in Blender, don't let that scare you. You can use the same technique for Maya or Max or whatever program you use, okay? And this will be, you know, a tutorial for people who kind of know their way around their programs. I'm not going to explain every single thing in detail you know, how modifiers works and, and how the curve editor works and all that stuff. You should know that by now before going into animated eight legged creatures, right? So, um, but I will, I will make sure to make it easy for you to understand what's going on. The spider model is created by one of my friends, Thomas Storm. I will leave a link in the description so where you can go and, and check out his stuff. And I will also give you this spider rig as a blender file and then you can follow along the tutorial if you want. To download this uh, spider rig I will leave a link in the description below where you can download it and then you can follow along and you can do uh, whatever you want to do with this spider. It's yours, it's free, so have fun, use it for whatever you want. And guys remember you can always go and join my Patreon. If you feel like giving a little extra, I have nothing to offer on Patreon. Everything I have is for free here on YouTube. But enough talk, let's begin. Okay, so this is the spider. This is a spider I use for my game, The Adventures of Gorm. It's already rigged. So I can move the legs around. And I have these um, pole bones which can kind of move the legs this way <laughs> I don't I don't know I mean I'm a professional animator but I still can't remember all the terms for all these uh, things I think is in blender this is called a pole target right which controls the IK chain and this is the IK target right and these are all locked right so if I move the body uh, the legs are staying on the ground right this is the basic you need to get this working all right so let's start by you know stretching out the legs a little a little further away from the body just a little so it's not so cramped you know 
And again, I won't make this precise by any means, but uh, this this looks kind of this looks good enough, right? Then we need to spread out the legs a little. So every time you do something with one leg, you make sure to do the same with the other leg, the opposite leg. So select the IK targets and the target pole targets and just stretch the legs out a bit. It's just to get some space between the legs, right? So we have a, a, a wider span. So now I select everything just to, to check out how it looks in the extreme positions. Right, all the way forward, all the way back. This kind of looks it looks it looks fine to me. I think you can always tweak this later on. If you want some more distance between some of the legs, you can just select that uh, Y curve and just move it a bit. I, I will show you how to do it if, if it's necessary. All right, cool. So what we do, we will make a new action just so we have the animation saved. Let's call it walk cycle. I think I already have one. So let's call it walk cycle tutorial. And then you need to click on this shield button. I don't know why, but Everyone says you need to do it. It's something about saving that asset. Or it can get lost if you load the program. I don't know. Uh, just, just click it on. So we will make this walk cycle last for 60 frames. And we will set the frame rate uh, in the program to 60. 60 FPS, 60 frames. Right, so that's one second, one second for walk cycle. We can always, we can always change it if we want. So let's get into the cool animating stuff, right? So let's create frame number one. Still with everything selected, move everything forward. So you kind of get to the max end of the walk cycle. Then press I to set location and rotation keyframe. Then we go to 30, then we move the legs all the way back. And then we set a keyframe. And then we copy the first frames to the last. You do this in Blender by Shift D to duplicate keys. Right? The reason we select all the legs at the same time is to kind of make sure that the distance that each leg is traveling is the same. So one leg is not taking a, a, a longer step than any of the other legs, right? So we select everything at the same time. And this is kind of the key technique uh, I use for making walk cycles. All right, when that is done, we need the keyframe where the spider is lifting his leg up, right? So that is when it's going from back to the front. We need to lift up the legs in the middle like this and again just tweak it to uh, to the height you want doesn't really matter remember to the keyframes and then we can play it you see looks like a step and another note guys i will be editing this video i will cut all the time because i'm constantly starting and stopping the recordings because I completely fuck up with what with what I say all the time, so I need to retake some stuff and cut stuff out. But I will never cut any steps out, right? Trust me, the viewport might be changing all the time between each cut, but I have done nothing between the cuts, so you won't be missing anything. I have followed so many tutorials where they just cut out a part uh, because they think it, it's obvious that you need to do that or whatever or they forget it or something and then then you're just stuck in the tutorial this won't happen here i promise you i will show you every step on the way all right so now we have the basic movement of the legs 
Oh, I forgot. We need to. These end, end keyframes needs to be uh, linear, right? So let's see. Handle type. Where is it? Keyframe handle type vector. Right? And if we look at the curves, uh, this is where I'm kind of figuring out how this stuff works. Yes, you can see on this curve, it hits hard on the ground, which means when the spider puts the leg on the ground, yeah, it will hit hard, which makes it look correctly when it moves right because it have a constant speed so as soon as the leg hit the ground it will follow the ground and the ground is already in motion right when the spider is moving it will look a little weird when it's just walking in place but uh, it will work when the whole spider is moving trust me and we should do the same for when the spider is lifting the legs and this is frame 30 right so go in choose vector or linear, it might be called linear in your program. This is the correct movement. It looks a little wonky, but it's how that that is how it works. I will make sure to show you the spider in, in the end when it's actually moving forward in the world. And actually, you might already have seen that in the introduction of the video. I believe so let's move on so again this is the absolute basics of the walk cycle i don't think we need to do anything more about those legs so now comes to the the smart part right we will make it look fantastic so the key here is let me just stop this we need to go in on all these bones let's just start with the front lift up here and we will make a modifier, we'll put on a modifier, I think we have to go into each axis, yes, and that is kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, let's go into modifiers, and we will add a modifier called cycles. What this, what this modifier does is that it loops, oh, how do I zoom in here, it loops the animation on this curve, so it goes on forever, you can see it down here in the bottom. See, the animation just loops forever and this is absolutely necessary to make this trick work so I will do that on all the other um, curves too just the location we don't need rotation for these uh, targets and I think can I copy I believe I can copy this uh, yes copy if modifiers I will copy this one select the next one and then I think I can select all these locations and paste yes exactly there we go so it's a little faster but it's yeah it's just the way it is. So we need to do this on all the bones we have animated. Also the, the pole targets. Paste. And guys, I, I promise you, this is brilliant. It will save you so much time. sure if I should cut this out um, I'll just I think I'll leave it in because uh, personally I'm not a fan of following tutorials where they just speed speed parts up uh, in the middle of the tutorial and, and you're like what uh, please go slow can you show me again and you know so let's just let's just do this in real time And then we'll end up with a two hour long movement right but who cares as long as as long as we all learn something from it doesn't matter how long it takes right
just pasting in these curves. There we go. All right. We have done. We have copied over all the curve modifiers. Right, you can still at this point you can still go in and tweak uh, your, your curves, right? Let, let's say we want the legs to uh, you know hammer more down when it goes down here. Right, we can just move this forward and up a little bit, set a keyframe and see the curve is updating. If that's what we want. It all depends on how you want the spider to move. Right? That this might be a bit much, you know, I wanted that you know that it puts its foot, you know, harder down than it then it lifts its up. Ah, Jesus Christ man. So I wanted the spider <laughs> to to slam the foot harder down than it lifts the foot up. <laughs> Jesus, that was a tongue twister. You, you know what I mean? So it's not so uh, mechanical looking. Again, we still get that this hard hit on the ground, which will look great when it walks. So I think we need to tweak this a little. You see, it goes almost completely horizontal at this point, and uh, we don't like that. So we'll just put it down a little. And this, remember, set a keyframe. You can also put on auto key. Um, but I think it's good practice to set your key yourself. All of a sudden you have, you have set a, a ton of keys where you didn't really want to, right? So it's a good practice to set the keys yourself. Okay, so I think we need to, we can do this a little, we can do this a little nicer, right? So I think it lifts the feet and like very hard, you know, so um, Let's, let's try and get the lifting of the feet to be a little more smooth. So we just go five frames forward, right? And then we take it closer to the ground again. Set a keyframe. So we need to get it back a little more. See, now it kind of lifts the feet a, a little nicer. See, one of the feet is a little offset. I'm not sure why. Maybe uh, it has been that from the beginning. Right, so we'll just take that and move it. Okay, this is where I show you, of course, how we move it, everything at once. So we select the Y curve. Right, and then you press the A button to select all the keys, then G for grab, and then Y to move it up and down, right? This moves the whole animation up and down, which is the leg back and forward. So we just match it. So now that legs, now, so now that leg matches uh, the other leg, right? All right, so, and I mean, we, we can, I think we can just select all the bones like this because we only have animations on the legs we can just select all the keys so every time I select the bone all the keys are already selected which is also very important uh, for this technique to work so but anyways I'm getting a little it's 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 difficult it's difficult to make tutorials i have no idea how these uh, top youtubers are doing it but uh, they're definitely better than i am yeah this leg movement looks pretty cool so now let's get into the the meat of things right so we select everything on the right side or the left side doesn't matter but I'll just start with the right side right 
and because oh wait a minute i need to select all bones select all keys right so every time i select a bone all the keys are already selected so i don't have to select the keys all the time so this is all the legs on the right side we will offset those 30 frames so they move opposite uh, from the left side like this this is like a human walks right first one side then the other side all right and when that is done so now is the the, the the more tricky part right so you select let's say the let's say the back foot the, the back leg right and then you can offset this whatever you want I see and then we start getting these spider-like movements and it's so difficult to find videos of <laughs> spider walk cycles it's it's they just I mean I haven't seen any good videos on spider walk cycles so you just have to move this around till it looks great till you think it looks great it needs to look random right all right so let's let's undo this the way i do it for spiders is the back leg is kind of it it needs to stay it needs to start on zero right so that is fine uh, and then the next leg which should be moving in the chain is the the second leg from the front right oh. Yeah, select that bone then we will move that because we need to kind of divide this in, into four right so we move this to 15 so the first leg the first set of legs moves at zero the the this the second leg set will move at 15 and then we have the third leg set which is this one the third leg row i don't know it doesn't make sense those will move at 30 so we move the first key up to 30 and then we have the last leg which is the front legs row we select those and we will move the first frame to 45 right so now each row will start at 0 15 30 45 and then 60 which is the same as 0 right so it will look something like this and this is random enough for a spider so you don't see any weird looking uh, systems going on here right you don't see a, a kind of a pattern not immediately right and every opposite legs is moving opposite so you can see the front legs walking just like a human every legs is doing this walking like a human but everything is just offset so it, it looks more you know random and you can play around with where you where you put these keyframes on every leg uh, set or right to, to get different feelings let's make another example let's make the second leg row move as the second one is so what yes the second oh i didn't select the second so the second leg which is these ones you need to move around to see if you are grabbing the correct bones right this one if if we set this one to start at 15 for example and then we the the second the third second i don't know what i'm talking about the second leg row right let's move that to 30 and then the first leg row here or set what well, well, yeah, jesus christ we will put that to 45 which is already is 
then we get this weird looking thing which is probably what what most people will do where the where they're kind of moving one after the other in a in a line right first the the, the, the back leg then the next leg then the next leg then the, then, the, then the last leg right and that I mean you could get away with this but it it doesn't look random right it looks like a wave you can see the legs are moving in waves like one of those is a sensor centipedes they move their legs like that like this in waves so it's just big waves moving along um, I don't I don't think spiders are walking this way I don't think it looks right so let's just undo all this again is that correct so zero and 15 and 30 and 45 yeah this looks right okay guys so a problem you will see here is that the legs are intersecting each other right and that is because the legs are taking so big steps that they're just bound to, to to cross each other which is is that's not a good thing if you're making a move it's not a good thing where you can see it right in this case i will just leave it because this is by far good enough for a game you you will you won't ever see this happen in a game right to fix it you would go back to the beginning um that is pretty pretty easy to move all this back again and then makes the steps shorter right you can also go in for each leg and kind of tweak tweak them around so they don't uh, intersect with each other but that's a process that takes a long time and it's it's can be fairly frustrating um, i have done that for my spider in my game uh, i have some of the legs are not taking as far as a step which means that they will be sliding a little uh, but you won't notice that in, in the game as long as some of the legs are not sliding then you can get away with a lot if you're making this for a game so this is the basics of how you uh, you animate a ton of legs and and make it look good and and easy to modify because we have this uh, looping modifier on each leg which just means we can just move the keys around and it will still loop around right it, it's essential to make this work and basically in all walk cycles also just human walk cycles on the arms and and chest and head everything i put this looping modifier on so i can easily offset things so we don't so we don't uh, you know i'm missing animation in the beginning right if you move the keys all the way down to to 20 or 30 then you will then there's no animation uh, before that right and then you have to go in and make the animation so it's easier just to make things loop all right guys that was the end of part one of this tutorial so i hope you enjoy the lesson so far and in the next part we will look into animating the chest and the head all right so stick around and see you next time